Hey artists, today off the supply table you're going to get one big sheet of white paper, one either sheet of newsprint or newspaper, depends on what I have, and then one of each of the primary colors. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my name on the back of my white sheet of paper. Mr. Calvert. Okay, and I can flip that over. And I'm going to start off by drawing three organic shapes, one on each of my primary colors. Remember an organic shape. It's kind of like a blob, or it is a blob, not kind of like a blob. That, two, and three. And they take up about half my paper, okay, because I'm going to need to draw another shape um, on the other side of it. Once I have them drawn, I can cut these out carefully. After I've got my three shapes cut out, where did my third one go? Three organic shapes cut out, I can put dots of glue on them. Usually I like to put glue on the side where that I drew on so I don't see my pencil lines when I'm finished. And I can glue these down. Notice I'm putting them kind of towards the edge of my paper because I'm going to put a big explosion in the middle and that's obviously going to cover up a lot of that. Um, so if I put these kind of towards the edge then I'll still see a little bit of them. Okay, maybe like that. Next I'm going to draw three explosions. They're going to look something like this. It's kind of pointy explosions. We see these a lot in comics. Lots of triangles. Okay, there's one, two, and three. And after I get these drawn, I'm going to cut them out as well. And I'll show you a trick to cut them out. Um, so if you're a good cutter, Okay, you can just cut them out normally like you normally would, so cutting all the way around. If you are somebody who is struggling with the cutting, here's a little trick that you can do. I can cut out the shape. I'm going to cut just across the tips of my um, explosion, just along the tips like this. Now I can go in and all I have to do is cut out these little triangle shapes like this. Now you're going to have a lot of scraps doing it this way, but it is easier this way. So it's up to you. If it's not too hard the other way, go for it. If you're struggling, then try doing it like this. When you're done cutting out your explosions, you can take care of your scraps. If it's something that we can still use, like I can probably still use that chunk of my red, this can go in the scrap bin and I can just throw away that other little piece. Um, if it's something that you don't think we can use, then throw it in the garbage can. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take my three explosions, putting dots all the way around the edge, and a couple in the middle. And I'm going to put these kind of around the edge of my paper too. It's all right if they overlap a little bit. But I probably want to be thoughtful about which colors I'm overlapping. I probably don't want to put a blue explosion on top of um, my blue organic shape. Something like that. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another explosion, except I'm going to draw it on my either my newspaper or my newsprint, and it's going to be very big. It's going to be almost the whole sheet of paper. We need it big because our word is going to go on top of this next time. And after I have that drawn, I can cut it out. And after I've got that big explosion cut out, glue this one down. And this one's going to go kind of in the middle. Remember, dots of glue all the way around the edge, couple in the middle. And flip it over like this. And when you get that far, you are done today. So start off by putting your name on it, cut out three organic shapes, three explosions out of my primaries, and then one big explosion out of my newspaper. When you're done, take care of your scraps and put this in the drying rack.